right, so it is Monday, May 16th. Um, we start a homestand tonight, uh, Lancaster Barnstormers. Uh, we got the York Revolution in town. So I kind of wanted for my next video, for this video to be, uh, I want to take you guys through my day here. Um, and, you know, I don't have the same job. No one has the same job in minor league baseball as someone else in minor league baseball. However, we all are accustomed to similar hours, um, 13, 14, 15 hour days. So um, I wanted to kind of take you guys through my game day. Um, so it's 8.54 right now in the morning. Um, so I got a little bit of a late jump, but that's okay. Um, so I want to take you through this day. Um, I got a lot of sales-ish things to do in the morning with some groups, uh, phone calls, emails, so kind of boring stuff for you guys anyway. And then um, I'm going to try and sneak in a workout over lunch. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. It just depends how busy I am. And then uh, go back to work and start setting up for tonight's game at 7 o'clock is the game time. So... It's going to be a long day, like I said, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. You never quite know, but you know it's going to be long. Um, so thanks for being here with me, and uh, enjoy the ride. So I'm heading home for lunch now. Um, actually, don't have time to sneak over to the gym, <clears throat> work out, and shower, and, and go back. Um, I just wouldn't be on time for uh, some things I have to do for the game tonight. So I'm actually just going to go home and eat lunch and do a short workout over lunch with a kettlebell. So I'll show you some of that real quick. It's, it's boring. You don't really want to see that, but um, just to show you what you know I kind of do throughout the entire day that we have a game. So, successful morning, gonna eat some food, and then uh, work out a little bit, like a 20 minute workout, shower, and right back to work for the game. That's the fun stuff.
We can talk about uh, PNC Bank, War of the Roses, or something as well. Okay, you need points on that. There's um, an article in the, in the playbill. Is there? Yeah. All right, I'll just find that, and then <clears throat> we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Okay, all sounds right. good. Thanks. Right. Bye. Bye. Anyway, I'm heading back to the stadium. I'm going to park in the players lot downstairs. Um, and uh, what time is it? It's a little after 1, so start working on today's game. Um, I do have an assistant now, so she is able to do a lot of the scripting and the rundown for me, but I have to get ready to NC, get some talking points together for pregame, uh, figure out what games we want to run tonight. Uh, and I have a group upstairs, so make sure everything's squared away with their tickets and everything. Uh, other than that, uh, it should get a lot more exciting from here, and uh, you'll kind of see what the, re uh, the last, you know, what do we add here? eight hours look like no another 10 hours nine or ten hours left of the day so it's already one o'clock day's just getting started here that's how minor league baseball works so uh hang in there i promise you it will be over soon Take us in. <clears throat> Do it. Well, hello, Lancaster Barnstormers fans. It's Holly Love from iHeartMedia with my friend Alex Einhorn. I'm part of the BIA pregame show. What a beautiful day it is today. A little windy, <clears throat> a little chilly, but far better than yesterday, that's for sure. Holly, it's not rainy anymore. Woo! So, so, yeah, I said it. Yeah. And also on the web, Mark <laughs> At least I didn't say it with confidence. All right, we are live back from the LNP press box. This is the BIA of Lancaster County pregame show. Alex Einhorn here alongside a guest, voice of the Barnstormers, Dave Collins. Dave? Good evening, everybody, and uh, great night to be back home. Start the War of the Roses off. Now, Green Bay Packers versus who? I can give you multiple choice somewhere. Um, um, <laughs> so we have the Vikings. Is that true? I can give you multiple choice. Wait, no, there's some Bengals. Bengals. These are all time rivalries. Wait, is that a team? You yes. Yes. <laughs> so well, hold on, hold on. Just to be clear, you want to go with so you want to go with the fans. Cincinnati Bengals are the Green Bay Packers' greatest rival. If that's what you want to do, you can do that. But. Uh, the answer is Bengals. The answer is the Chicago Bears. Oh. Who said Cincinnati Bengals? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <they're there>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you say something that's good for the video? Uh -huh. Like what? Just something cool, man. This is all cool stuff. You can okay. use a lot of this. Pneumonia. <laughs> Pneumonia is such a good plug. Like, you know, there's a lot of good stuff. You can sneak in like an LGH plug there. Yeah. Like, you've got pneumonia. LGH. <laughs> you repeat. Junk. This is the view you would get yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, that's not a view you want. <laughs> Are we gonna have like a new, like a Pete's junk cam? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Look at that. Alright fans, we are over here, top of 
section number 14. We already applied someone in the face tonight, but the good news is we're gonna apply somebody else. So I'm with Chris, I'm with Tanner. You guys thought I forgot about you. Didn't ya? You thought I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> thought I forgot. Hey, you're all right, man. You're great. Oh, tell that to my fans. Hey, you are great, man. This man is great. Is there an extra? All right. You're good. Have a good night, guys. You bet. Oh, back in the car now. Just left the stadium. Game's over. Uh, 10.30, so we did, you know, 11, no, what's that, 13 and a half hours, so not quite as long as I thought it would be, but 13 and a half hours, relatively short night here in minor league baseball in Lancaster, still a long night, but uh, I'm tired, I'm, I'm starving, we're going to go get some food at a diner here, pretty much we do every night, um, it's a long, long night, but uh, we love it. It's baseball, man. So I know I didn't get to show you guys quite all that I wanted. Um, we got some good stuff in there, uh, but you probably watched it and you're thinking like, ah, he was barely there because I just I didn't get as much footage as I wanted. I'd like to get you a lot of footage so you can see the full 13 hour, 14 hour days. Like obviously not the full 14 hours, but you know, a long video. Um, so I didn't get to show you a lot. Um, I don't know. You know, so I didn't show you a lot during the day at the office, which is okay. Um, just emails, phone calls. Um, so I'd like to show you more of the game day meetings and the production and stuff. So maybe I'll get some better footage of that. I can show you some some good footage of production and game day meetings and the leadership and the video board stuff, grounds crew. Um, but today I was kind of swamped, so I didn't get a chance. But I hope you enjoyed what you did see. And um, I have another video out soon to wrap up the first series versus York. Um, so that'll be the next three games I'll get. I'll combine those into one. I don't want to get you guys too many videos at once. So, boom. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's the first time I've ever said that. It feels weird. So I'm not sure if I'm taking this YouTube thing seriously or not. But I really believe that... Uh, I think it's important because I've worked here for four years. And I've always thought, like, no one really knows what it's like to be... To work in minor league baseball. Like... No one really knows what the world is like. It's not like the major leagues. It's not like any other job you could ever have. It's so different. And I always thought that people should know what it's like. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you're not enjoying it, then just stop watching, I guess. If you are enjoying it, let me some comments or friend me on Facebook, whatever. And uh, like I said, hope you guys are enjoying this. Just wanted to give you the backstage of what I do. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, until next time. Go Barnstormers. Big wins. Good show. Woo! Yes, I can end the video with that.